So from playing this game, I can see that I've set my DK rate way too, lo way too high. Um, he hardly has any chance to walk around before the game is almost over. So I can change that in the code, but I actually don't need to close the editor. Because my decay rate already exists, I can change the value in the code, but use this compile button here in the toolbar. You wouldn't be able to do this if you were adding a new class, function, or variable, but if you're tweaking a uh, function or variable that already exists and has already been registered with the engine using the u function or u property macro, then you can do this. So um, actually, let me get rid of this spawning battery real quick that, that we had to test her from before. And now we'll switch back to Visual Studio. So here we are in our game mode source file, and we have the decay rate, which right here is 1. Let's make that oh, 0 0.25, not quite. Um, you know, we'll cut it in down, by, down to about a quarter of its original value. We'll go ahead and save that, and then switch back to the editor. So here you can see the compile button, and there's a drop down here where you can recompile game code. When you do this, a little pop-up will show up down here, and if you really want to see the progress, you can uh, open the output log window. So window, output log, if you want to watch um, how that goes. So the compile is complete. And now, if I play, you'll see that I can actually run around for quite a bit mo longer before um, I start powering down. So I'll collect these batteries. And you know, I think I'll actually want to give a little bit more power to these batteries, because um, it's still really not charging me up as much as I would like when I collect them. So I can go ahead and hit Escape. And now here I could go back to the battery pickup code and change the baseline power level. But because I already have a blueprint of my battery, I'm just going to go ahead and open that and tweak the default values. The reason I can do that is because when I coded the battery pickup originally, I made the power level uh, blueprint read-write. So here in the defaults of the blueprint, I've got a power level of 150. Let's just make that 250 and see what that does for us. So compile and close the, the blueprint. And let's try playing now. So we're just waiting for the blueprints to, or sorry, for the batteries to fall. And it's definitely charging us up more when we collect them. So I think that's giving me a bit more of what I wanted. So hopefully this shows you two ways that you can uh, tweak variables or functions just to sort of uh, change your gameplay behavior while you're testing it out. Thanks.